Oh, hey guys, um, PFE, uh, you was about to start hunting. Uh, we're doing sharks this time. So that's good. Maybe I should assemble, but I'm thinking they haven't done the draw yet. Looking at Discord, yeah, I don't think they've done the draw. So I can sweat for a little bit longer. What have I been up to? Um, well, this week I did a little bit of Monrio. I did some crafting a little bit there, and then I came basically over to Next Island. I didn't actually rotate as much ped this week as other weeks. Um, I did uh, pretty much the Dragon Daily every day, other than when I was on Monrio. Uh, I did boars most days. I did pep, Red Papu. Um, purple light is still pretty high, but it looks like uh, people are refusing to buy now above 120. Um, I think there were a bunch of hunters who were wanting to push through and paying, you know, 150% or 500% plus, um, even up to 800, 900,000% at the very top. It feels like now the new hunters who haven't made it through are only willing to pay about 200-ish, maybe max. I mean, we'll see if that holds. But uh, I got on a big um, EP swing. Oh, we're assembling. Yeah. Um, I got on a big EP swing. I crafted a thousand pets of EP last night, yesterday and last night. Um, I just like. I woke up and I didn't want to do anything. So I just start crafting, and then like, oh, it went pretty well. I uh, got some recycles early on, so I'm just like, I'm just gonna keep going, and it it went really well actually. Um, I definitely shed some TT, but I got enough um, recycles plus the MU that I definitely made a profit. So I mean, it was a I mean not that, <laughs> that doesn't happen all the time, but it went very well. So I was uh, pretty happy that um although it does force me to go to cali but i kind of need to go to cali anyway because my uh where is it my welding wire stack um is getting quite big so i need to start selling some of that off anyway plus i still i'm only um i'm only about i think 40 percent of my way through my welding wire um craft thing so no, that's optimistic. I don't think. I don't know how. Forty percent sounds too too far. I'm probably. I've got a lot more than forty, uh, more than sixty percent left. I I haven't finished that much actually. Um, but needless to say, you know, I've got at least seventy percent plus left on on all my crafting materials. So and I've got a lot of sweat actually. Um, just that. I haven't really felt like, oh, I'm going to, you know, until my pile gets a little bit lower, I don't feel a lot of motivation to keep crafting. I mean, because it's flexibility, you know, I can always sell the sweat, too, if um if it's taking a while. But it's good for me to go to Cali, um, see if I can get some daily tokens. Um, plus, I really want to do Mayhem, and I really, ideally like to be level 30 going in, just so I can start getting that, that, that um, those unlocks for the new skill. Somebody's bidding up my stuff. Purple light sold. Well, Three hundred percent. All it will take that. That's nice. Very nice. Um. So, obviously, I did some trees. Um, and then the. Um, uh, the Mirian, or whatever, you know, I don't know what they call it. Mir Mirian? Yeah, whatever. I'll go with that. Um, the level 5, um, gave, um, biology, which was a nice, a nice push toward it. Um, I gave, I gained like 50 points of bi biology. Um, it only added a few percent, but I'm like super close. I mean, if I'm not there...
I'm seven percent away um, from the level thirty. So if I'm not there, I mean it's okay. If I if I'm not, I just ideally I would like to have that you know that that extra skill being leveled at the start. So if I spend a few days on Cali, um, well there are a number of things I can do to to push a little bit while still being eco, you know. Um, Um, like, uh, for example, the, the, the block shaw, you know, I'm going to butcher all of these, just, I'm not even going to try, I'm not going to, I stop apologizing for it, I'm just going to butcher them. Uh, so block shaw gives, you know, gives me the four badges so I can get those coins, so that's a pretty eco one. Um, uh, then I could do, like, the, um, the little fephoid cave, um, for sure. So that's, uh, super eco. Um, so those are things, um... So I'm thinking maybe actually, I, mean, I don't really enjoy it so much, but I don't enjoy Kali as much. But on the other hand, I think, well, so if I did a little less for a few days, I think that might not be a bad thing because I think, um, I think there will be a little bit of overload because um, I'm going to go for the high one, the gold. Um, I'm hoping I can get all the way through to the very end. Um, I mean, obviously, if I'm taking a lot of damage, you know, to my pet guard, I won't. I'll, I'll call it earlier on. But I was um, just looking at the, the, I think it was like bronze, silver, gold, or I don't know, there are three levels. The middle, the, the bottom level, I'm just like, I would just run through that way too fast. The middle level, I'm like, I was debating, do I want to go middle one or top one? And I'm like, well, I think the number of hours I'm definitely going to play is going to be more than that. So even if I don't get the top rewards, I think it makes sense to go for um, the biggest package where you're going to get, you know, where I'm not going to run out of rewards. I mean, it's better, I think, if I don't, if I keep getting rewards, even if I don't get all the way to the end, than if I get to the end and run out of rewards. So... I think the for me, if it was animals, I think I would be confident that I, I would make it to the end. Um, but it's mutants, so I'm not so confident that I'll make it to the end. But I'm confident that I will <laughs> definitely do more than the middle package. So um, that was my um, thought process. And if I can just get a little bit of a bump, I mean... Even a few days of Fefoy Pit plus, I think, the, the cave. You know, that 7%, it's going to get super close. Plus, you know, there are some codexes on Kali that I've gone a, a good way in, but not all the way. So if I can figure out which ones make sense to kind of push to... Um, push push to the top, you know? Because um, some of those, like... I think Ambu, I'm probably, like... I mean, it's a major codex, and I'm pretty deep in it, but, like, you know, whatever level I'm in, level 10 plus, I don't know. But, so obviously, like, if I'm 70% of the way through Ambu, and I finish that off, then, you know, whatever pet reward is, if I stick it in a looter skill, it's going to bump me a few percent. So, if I pick one or two of those, I could, I'll probably definitely be... But also, yeah, taking a little bit of a break, too. I mean, I'm going to be listening to some Welding Wire. Who knows? I mean, uh, one thing I've also started to realize is that I, I don't, I shouldn't exactly 100% plan too much ahead because, um, like, I have a plan and I just don't stick to it. Like, I just, like, I have a bunch of things that I do, but, like, my plan actually going into this week, and this is why I shouldn't plan too much. I just go with what I what I do, and just you know, as long as it makes sense, just don't worry about it. Um, because I, I, you know, I, but my plan was this week was was to just like literally sit on next island, all the way through the end of Mayhem. Like I was not supposed to go to Cali. Um, 
then I, you know, I kind of woke up and I was like, not really, you know, I was just like super chill and just like half asleep most of Saturday, honestly, and I was sweating a lot. And I, when I wasn't sweating, I was doing a lot of crafting. So I had a very nice relaxing, but I like, basically I crafted so much. Now I have to go to Cali because I got all these stacks to sell. Plus I've got recycles. So, um, needless to say, like I, I notice I, I, I spend, that's a big Ambu, 2,200. Wow. I need one. I need me one of those Ambus. <laughs> um, uh, uh, he has a like two point two, some two thousand two hundred fifty pet or something. I was big. I, wow. Um. Well, I really wanted a shopkeeper pad to be honest. That'd be really nice. I I love the ambus though. There's a, a very I don't know. There's something about that mob. I just really like it. You know. Even if the returns aren't there, some, somehow I just enjoy it, you know? It's one of those mobs you just feel good hunting, you know? It's like graceful or in some way. or Yeah, 2,248 pets. Okay, so let's do the same. Well, it's actually the we'll split. Maybe one pet off. One pet extra. That way, it just and how much? How much is one pet's shots? That one's amped. That's weird. Never used it either. That's just super weird. Guess I was gonna go on a hunt at some point with the Rubio. That's weird. Oh yeah, Rubio uses so one pet is like Maybe a hundred twenty shots extra. Let's just go uh, hundred hundred thirty. Sounds right. Hundred thirty. So, so I could just subtract one hundred thirty off of whatever. Oh, we gotta throw the big, big, big one in. Big stack. Is in. Was that a zero? I was looking at that was a Rubio. I don't know, it's so weird. Yeah, oh uh, yeah, it should be um about 130 shots, I think. One hundred thirty-six shots. Just kind of slow on turning it over, so so I'll give myself a little bit of a lead. Yeah, we got a big global. That'd be cool. But yeah, I, uh, definitely like super. Oh, I don't know. I guess I just lagged there. I went right past it. Let me just close. It's really annoying, actually.
So I'll see what happens here. Sharks are always exciting. They can be, you know, they can really pop. Oh, but yeah, I, I made some good um, XP on my my crafting yesterday. I think I gained about a, ten, a tenth of a level. So, and then I, I I calculated how much ped do I need to cycle <laughs> to um uh to hit level forty. I mean, it it was a very rough estimate, but I could kind of estimate because I I kind of got a sense of um my my um. Uh, looking at my um, um, what you might call it engineering, it's close to the level I need, so I kind of estimate where how how low the skill will get. Uh, and obviously, if I do monitor daily, it's going to cut down a little bit. But I was um, estimating I need to cycle. Ooh, sorry guys, <laughs> running into people. Um, I was estimating I need about um, to cycle about a hundred thousand bed um, on EP two. That's about twenty six days, twenty four seven. But I mean, obviously, um, more realistically, doing like a hundred thousand bed runs. Now, obviously, the conditions have to be good, but I'm not in a rush. But, I mean, that's, you know, that's, you know, less than three months at a 1,000 beds a day. But that's, I'm not expecting to go that fast. The other thing, too, is that I do a lot of hunting. So, I'm also going to be a little more selective on some of the blueprints. Like, I'm, um, I've got some that, that work for me and some that don't. So, I'm also get. Welding wire is also going to be something that's really eco to help me out a little bit, um, or um, uh, not e well not eco but cost efficient. So that'll reduce it a lot. But I think you know every time I go from Cali, if I can swing to Monreal, um, that'll save me a little bit on that. But it's a long term goal, so I'm not in a rush. So I mean, I don't need to achieve that you know, this year, I mean, in 2021, or even in 2022, I mean, it, it's just a, it's a, a long-term goal, and the next couple of years, I would like that, I mean, we'll just see how things go, I mean, it just depends on the price of things, too, it's like, it felt like a good time to craft EP, like, I feel like there are going to be some people, hopefully, um, um, hopefully, um, uh, hopefully you need to do recycles going into Mayhem to get some shrapnel. So that was my thought. The prices look good, although it just dropped drastically overnight. Um, but I'm hoping, you know, I'll just be patient. I'll put a, a good minimum and a good maximum. Hopefully, you know, somewhere... In, you know, in this start of mayhem, some people are going to need to do some recycles, and they're going to pay okay ped for my. Um, I mean, I already had a winning run, um, to be honest, because the recycles I got were, were just good enough. Um, but obviously, you know, it's now margin of, and also, you know, for future runs, they they won't all be good, you know. So you need some margin because some of your, some of your runs are just not going to get recycles and. Um, so the actual selling price is important.
just need one big one. <laughs> it's okay if we don't get it, but it's always fun to get a big one. I was looking at this um this ring. Um it's like a limited mayhem ring. Um Aries limited mayhem. Like fifteen percent reload. Like fifteen percent damage. I think a bidding on it. Unfortunately it's like I was looking at the time, it's like okay, that ring ends. The bidding ends thirty minutes after I get to work. Plus I leave 30 minutes beforehand, so I'm going to be gone an hour ahead of time. But I guess it's just like, I'll just look at it, where it's at, um, put a bit on it um, that I feel good about, maybe, if I have the pet. Because I do need things to sell, so I may not have the pet. But I put a bit on it and that I feel good about, and if I have the pet, and if I get it, good. If I don't, no worries, you know, I'm not in a hurry. Um, I was also kind of like, well, I kind of want a Christmas ring, but I'm like, well, <laughs> those are expensive, uh, so we'll see. So I have just have a like a generic Aries ring, a limited one. We'll see what I do. I also kind of want to get some more deeds, to be honest. I don't. I feel like I just I play randomly, you know, like. I'm not really that... Like, I like to think I'm consistent, but I'm really not. One day I want the D's, next day I want the ring. Who knows? We'll see. got some nice nice deeds i got um some at a good price i got you know i got um uh, these i got like a 9.90 i mean which i think is pretty good i mean because they don't really go below 10 much anymore and these i got a super sale for like 18.06 so i was super happy about those i wish i had more ped i mean i just didn't have a lot of ped there was like a stack of like a thousand of them and i only got 75 I wish I could have got more. Getting some decent hits. I'm too far forward to get over with the other people. Dangerous out here. 
Ooh boy. Oh, AV got me just in time. <laughs> Big one. Probably a good idea for our group up around here. I'm really hoping I can get like a mayhem token for one of those mayhem guns. Um, I want the the placement guns. I was looking like um I thought like uh it's like a BC gun that only requires one placement token. And I was looking at the number of tokens, I'm like, yeah, I could definitely do that, and it would be super good. It would be a little bit more um, power than my justifier. Slightly more DPS, um, plus I could put a nice amp on it. Better better everything, better efficiency, better. Um, and I'm like, well, then I could just literally sell my justifier. You know, obviously I wouldn't cash in on the tokens, but, you know, I mean, essentially farming it. Um, that was another good hit. Um, very solid. Three good hits so far. I mean, nothing like globally, but it's been strong. I guess we're going to get in. Um, mm. I think we're about 200. Oh, 75. Uh, they probably missed some of the good ones when they died. That's sad. But yeah, if I could get that, then, you know, I could work. You know, I may mean, take a while, but, you know, over the next, you know, um, I only need one. I only need one to get a, a go. It would be a, an upgrade. A little bit more damage would be in the 40 range, 40, 40 ish. Uh, more damage, a little bit, but still comparable, but better. More efficiency. So just one, you know, one, one, one placement token, and then I can sell my, my justifier. 
and my A106 actually, because I would just go BLP at that point because I got a Pyron. I could even maybe sell the Pyron to be honest because it would be a 40 gun. I wouldn't even need the Pyron, so I could sell both of those. I don't know what amp I would need. But maybe if I get super lucky and I get two, then maybe I can keep my justifier and just get something big. You know, but let's we'll see what happens. I mean, who knows? I, I may not even get one, you know. Which is fine, because then then you can use those tokens, um, get like those you know, some pills to sell to people or um there are um I know there's like an extender. I don't know what, what's good for the money. I'd have to consider what's good for the money. Um, but I mean, that's another thing too, is if you fail, those tokens still have value um, for, for selling. You know, you can um, get, get some monetary uh, value out of those tokens in, in various ways. So. Definitely looking forward to it. I mean, it would, be I'd be super hype if I you know if I could get one of those placement tokens but if not it's still good I like the I like the structure I like I like that there's not like a time limit I like that there's ammo rewards at various points I like I like that there's a stamina reward that's pretty pretty fun that's really cool I, I like that they did that um I like the token rewards. I like the chance that I could get a token even if I don't. It's exciting, you know. So it's definitely something I'm looking forward to. So that's really cool. Because, I mean, I'm not like super, like, I mean, I like to play. And I, I like to do well. And, you know, put a lot of effort in the game, but I'm not like, I'm not like a fast-paced player. I don't, and I just don't enjoy that, you know. Um, so, I think the structure really just makes it good for people who just want to, you know, play the game at their own pace and just, you know, cycle a lot of ped, which I think is what EU really is. It's play the game at your own pace, you know. Um, most of it's not time limit stuff, you know. So I think it's cool that they made Mayhem more like that. I mean, I know there are going to be some people who, and I've seen some people express some disappointment about the new structure, but I think it more probably for your average player, even who, who spends a lot of money on the game, plays a lot, you know, probably for more for your average player is more motivating in the structure, I think. Because now it's like, oh yeah, you can just play with whatever guns, weapons you, you want to play with. Play the game the way you want to play. And you still have that chance for that rare token, you know? That to me is very exciting. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's a little braggy. Well, maybe not braggy, but it's a little weird. It's 
probably pure impact, I'm guessing. It's probably just not spread out. That's just my guess. Definitely a lot of the mobs is nice. A lot of the low mobs on the next island are very spread out. Yeah, it makes sense they're out because I would be at 50. Yeah, it'd be about 50. Because uh, uh, it was 136. Probably. I think... Uh, like 50. I mean, if I, I would be at 50. I mean, I'm more because I have my own, but I think a lot of people ran out of ammo, so it's not really. Well, see you all next week. I, I'm I'll be cycling back to next island for sure by the weekend. I, I don't know how many days I'll be on Kelly. Some of it will be like if my welding wire is selling good, I might want to stay for a little bit to keep listing it. But it's also am I getting daily tokens? How how long does it take to get my mutant up? I don't know. We'll just see how I feel. You know, if I might it might profit me or be good to, uh, for a few days on Kelly, but. Also, if I get bored, I'll probably cycle Monrea back to next island. But I've also thought, what about cycling the other?